hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel to find my here so if you're new welcome and uh, please do remember to subscribe and uh, join the family for my premier gang welcome back so on today's video it's all about cooking so it will be cooking me for a week all the meals we prepared for the whole week so i made uh, five different uh, meals I had planned to do seven but uh, yes the video would have been too long beyond one hour so yes here is our uh, what we ate for dinner I hope you stay tuned and uh, enjoy the video So for the first meal, uh, I prepared uh, pilau, chicken pilau, and uh, first thing I do is uh, wash uh, the chicken using a uh, lemon. This usually helps to remove the chicken smell because it's too too strong. So once you uh, squeeze in some lemon juice and uh, rub it in, the smell will uh, disappear so yes i'll wash it i had washed it before i stored it in the freezer so this is the second wash once i sprinkle the onions it is clean so i think uh, the process is straightforward i have uh, three cut uh, onions and uh, yes uh, some blended uh, tomatoes like two two blended tomatoes and i'll also uh, post uh, on the screen the ingredients that I'll be using.
so i'll cook the onions uh, for about five minutes on or until they are golden brown and then i'll add uh, garlic and uh, these are spring onions i think yeah, they are called spring onions so this is totally optional if you don't have uh, no need to put them so once they are cooked i'll scoop out uh, a good portion of uh, the cooked onions they'll help uh, with the color once everything is cooked so these are the spices i'll be using garam masala paprika garlic powder and uh, obviously pilau masala so i'll put them on the screen so yes we need that uh, brown color once it has uh, uh, mixed well i'll put um, the blended tomatoes some uh, tomato paste and then i'll let them cook for a few minutes so that the spices can cook well once uh, it has boiled for about five minutes now i'll add the rice So that was the major part once you've mixed all the spices and uh, all the ingredients uh, you just uh, pour the water and then you let it cook. So I usually use if I used one cup of uh, rice I'll put one and a half cups of uh, water. So I'll be mixing it. Uh, there's someone who asked why the color does not uh, go deep or the uh, bottom part of the rice it's because you do not mix in the initial stages so make sure the water and the color has gotten to the bottom of the sufuria so that's why we mix the first first uh, times so i'll put it in the other flame which is uh, lower and then uh, cover it with foil for it to be cooking slowly so the um, uh, fire should be on the minimum so once it's cooking there my chicken has already marinated for about 30 minutes now i'll go ahead and uh, shallow fry it so i'll shallow fry it for about uh, 10 or uh, 7 minutes each side so that it is cooked well uh, remember this is not kenyeji so it cooks very fast so i'll just uh, leave it for about seven minutes and then i'll turn it so you can see it has cooked well on that side now i leave it for another seven to ten minutes for it to cook well because you are not uh, boiling or anything it's just cooked like this and we'll use it the way it is so i'll also be checking my rice if need be i'll add some water if uh, it's cooking well i just mix it up so it it is uh, cooked uh, evenly and also to spread out uh, the rice so it doesn't uh, get sticky so be testing and see if it is almost and then once it is at this stage i'll add the cooked onions on top so i'll let it cook for about uh, five minutes and then i'll add the cooked chicken so that will not also take long i'll leave it for another five minutes and then our pilau should be ready So I'll only use uh, four pieces of the chicken and then the other two I'll use uh, one to make soup and then the other one I'll cut for my babies. So yes, I've also sprinkled uh, some a uh, small amount of oil on top. If you prefer putting um, uh, margarine or butter, that's okay. It will ensure your rice is not dry it will be very moist so
So for the soup, uh, there's nothing much. I just uh, put in some onions, uh, tomatoes, and then I put a small amount of um, paprika and garlic powder, and then uh, poured in uh, one piece of chicken that is cut into pieces, and then let it boil. That's basically it for the soup. We just wanted a small amount of soup so that uh, my babies can also eat the pilau so and there is our pilau it turned out so well it was so moist and i uh, really did enjoy it so as for me i really enjoyed or preferred this uh, chicken pilau compared to the beef pilau i don't know why but uh, this turned out so well so Yes, it was so, so delicious. And uh, if you follow the steps, yours will uh, uh, come out just the same. So I also cut uh, some um, onions and tomatoes to make uh, kachumbari. And uh, there is our soup. So yes, uh, it was uh, satisfying. It was so, so delicious. So if uh, you'd like be interchanging it with the beef pilau, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it just as we did. So on to the next meal, I'll be making some uh, gizzards, some greens and ugali. My husband really loves uh, gizzards, so I try my best to be cooking this uh, often. And you can get yours from a uh, city market. I always order mine from there and they have a variety of meat you can order. So I usually buy mine that will last us for about three weeks or one month so first thing i did i boiled this for about 30 to 40 minutes until they are tender but don't overcook them so i boiled them and then stored them in the freezer so once i want to cook them i just uh, put them on the oil so i'll cook uh, i'll shallow fry them for about 10 minutes or until they are golden brown and then i'll start cooking so on the other sufuria i have my kienyeji um as uh, what are they called kenyeji greens <laughs> or kenyeji mboga they are from the freezer as well so once they are golden brown i'll proceed and uh, put onions and garlic then let them cook for about one minute and then i'll uh, pour in the blended tomatoes and then put the spices i'll put everything on the screen Time looping in the blurry lights. Get in my way now, don't be shy. We'll be here dancing day and night. Get in my groove now, don't be shy. Cause I got the system, my favorite things. You could be the part where it all begins. You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it. You could be a one of the things I love. Sunday morning breakfast with my bedroom door. 
so i'll let them uh, cook for about uh, 10 minutes with the spices so that it is cooked well and then on the other sufuria once the kenyeji uh, mboga has uh, simmered well i'll uh, put in my spinach and some salt so that's basically it for the greens And uh, there is our gizzard it turned out so great so this is one of my hubby's uh, favorite meal he loves loves gizzard anywhere we go even if it's hotel he will just ask if they are gizzard so it also went well uh, with some avocado on the side and also the kenyiji mboga so that uh, was the dinner for that day and there are a lot of you guys usually ask uh, where are the baby's plates so because they cannot start cutting uh, this, the meat pieces uh, on the camera, it will take too long. I usually give my house manager to prepare it once I'm done serving or when uh, it has already cooked, we scoop uh, some for the kids and then uh, she uh, usually prepares them behind the camera. They usually eat the same same meal. I've said this uh, so many times, but I still get uh, the same, same questions. So we usually eat the same, same meal. The only difference is we usually prepare it on the side. Because as you can see, they cannot eat the meat the way it is. They are still young. I usually prefer cutting them into smaller pieces and then uh, presenting it with some soup as well so that it's easy for them to eat. So for this meal, I'll start off by uh, shallow frying the hot dogs for about 
five to seven minutes or until they are golden brown for the spaghetti i usually prefer adding some turmeric so that you can give it that uh, yellow color i love love that color on spaghetti so i've put also some uh, oil and also some salt so i'll be checking my spaghetti every now and then until they are cooked it, it usually takes about eight minutes to cook spaghetti but uh, be checking and also taste to see if it has cooked well so for the hot dogs i'll be turning them until they are golden brown and then i'll put them aside and then start cooking the minced meat if you cook or if i cook the minced meat just the way it is after boiling it usually doesn't taste really nice so i prefer frying it uh, for about five minutes into the oil and then i'll start adding the other ingredients so remember the minced meat has already been boiled for about uh, 20 minutes and then so yes this is just uh, making it a little bit crisp and uh, putting in oil So I'll be adding a lot of uh, vegetables in, the, in this mix and uh, if you haven't noticed I love dark soy sauce and uh, the combination of oyster sauce actually gives a very good taste and also it pops the color of your food. So if you don't have a uh, dark soy sauce and oyster sauce in your kitchen please please go and buy them they usually go well with any beef or uh, meat uh, stews so i've added some uh, yellow bell peppers and i'll also add some uh, spring onions and i don't know which what's the name of the other uh, uh, green onions i don't know what's the name but they are almost like the spring onions so yes it was a uh, very very delicious and full stew we really enjoyed it this is one of my kids favorite uh, uh, foods they usually love love the hot dog uh, spaghetti the mixture of this and also if you don't have cornstarch please uh, buy cornstarch it will change your cooking or your soups will be thick and you'll generally just uh, see a big difference in your stews
so on to another day the dinner will be mashed potatoes some uh, chicken breast and uh, vegetables on the side so i really did not want to combine uh, the chicken breast with the vegetables so i'll be cooking them on uh, different sufurias and uh, as i usually do i start off by sprinkling some on uh, some uh, lemon juice to remove that smell of the chicken and then i'll start cutting them so on this specific uh, night i was also preparing for chicken pies so i separated or uh, i cut uh, half of the chicken uh, for the next day and then the other one i'll cook for dinner So by this time my electric hand mixer had already spoiled so I had a lot of <laughs> mashing to do but if you have uh, the hand electric mixer you can always use it. It's really really nice and uh, it makes things uh, go faster. So yes uh, there is our mashed potatoes. I don't know if I did not film the part where I add some uh, margarine and some milk to make it more smooth. So I'll put it aside and start cooking the uh, chicken breast. So once it has marinated for about 30 minutes, I'll uh, sh shallow fry them until they are golden, golden brown. And then I'll proceed to put the other ingredients. So in the other sufuria, I'll be making my vegetables. And basically it's a piece and then I'll add uh, the bell peppers. So I did not want to mix them up with the... Uh, chicken breast because I surely love the taste of uh, chicken breast just the way it is so that's why I'm putting um, the vegetables on the other sufuria Do you know how much 
much I love you I put your favorite song on Just to wake you up When I dance around I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? If I could stop the time Don't you know that So the idea here was uh, to cook uh, just a fried uh, chicken breast. I did not want to put any soups or uh, make them uh, with the tomatoes and all that. So I just uh, added the oyster sauce, some dark soy sauce and some uh, tomato sauce. So that's basically it uh, so that it remains uh, like uh, fried. Yes, just a uh, fried uh, chicken breast. And there is our dinner. I also cooked uh, some spinach on the side. And uh, yes, uh, the chicken breast turned out so well. I loved, loved the flavor and uh, how crunchy it was. These are mashed potatoes and uh, our vegetables. So also we have, uh, I made some soup on the side. So this soup is basically onions, uh, some uh, tomatoes. And uh, I also added... Um, the cream the heavy cream for uh, cooking and then it made that soup the thick soup you see so the for the red color i also added some tomato paste and um, some uh, paprika just the way you would cook any normal food but add uh, a cooking cream so that's why it's that thick because i added some cooking cream and i think i also added some cornstarch so yes uh, that's basically it another question i usually get is uh, where i got um, the plates the white plates you can get them from a uh, house of leather i saw them and uh, they have varieties of color as well they come as a pair of i don't know if it's 24 yes a set of 24 because they also come in balls and uh, uh saucers some side side sauce yes so uh that's uh the dinner for today it was so wholesome and uh yes i love love mashed potatoes i love love potatoes in general so this was one of my favorite uh, meals
So on to the last meal, I'll be making some, um, um, what is it called? Some uh, fish uh, masala and some greens and ugali. So we love, love ugali in this house. You cannot go two days without eating ugali. So we usually try to mix it up and make sure we have enough ugali. So for this, uh, I'll be making the sauce on a different uh, pan because the fish usually cooks very fast. I avoid cooking the fish anywhere near the sauce. So I usually prepare the sauce first with all the ingredients and all the spices. And then uh, once I shallow fry the fish after marinating and I then add the fish to just cook for about five minutes and it should be ready. So that's uh, the trick for not having uh, mashed or overcooked fish. Just prepare everything first and then you will add the fish later on when everything is cooked so preparing is very easy make sure you pat dry your fish and then the ingredients i'll be using are just three garlic uh, fish masala and paprika so i'll marinate for about uh, 30 minutes or 20 minutes and then i'll uh, shallow fry them and then add to the sauce that i've just cooked i also added um, the cooking uh, cream you'll see the ingredients i'll also add the cooking cream and oyster sauce and dark soy sauce are like a must in this meal it's it's a must or it's really really nice to put them so make sure you have oyster sauce and dark soy sauce for this uh, fish masala But it's all I have You know if we could run to a place where we belong But I need you there with me to go on Sometimes I With no big worries And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gives them right I wanna stay Hey 
hear more today I'm gonna lock my door and stay Inside a way until I'm safe again I have nothing more to put on I'm defeated and withdrawn Just trying to understand where it went wrong Always believe that nothing good in life is free But it's overwhelming how people can help And there is our dinner. The fish uh, fillet turned out so great. It's a very good alternative if you, if you don't want to cook that whole fish. So we shall get the fish fillets from uh, city market as well. So it went well with the greens. And the soup was, was very, very delicious. You know me with soup. I really, really enjoyed this to the maximum. <laughs> So that's basically it for today's video. I hope you stay tuned till the end. So if, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please uh, do so. I'll put uh, the, the handle on the screen. So thank you so much guys for watching. If you're new, welcome. And uh, please do remember to subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell for my followers. You know I love you all. I uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye. Without you by my side Let me feel you